The flatfish has a rather unique appearance. Do you know where their anus is located? Today, let's dissect a flatfish. This is a flatfish. But, you have to admit, flatfishes do look a bit peculiar. Flatfishes belong to the order Pleronectiforms, and they are a very flat-looking type of fish. Unlike many other fish species with bilateral symmetry, flatfishes have their eyes concentrated on one side, and their mouths also appear a bit skewed. When you compare their fins to those of other fish, well, flatfish fins are just a bit peculiar. Unlike other fish that move their caudal fins from side to side, flatfishes swim by moving their caudal fin up and down. What's the body structure of a flatfish like? Surprisingly, the truth is that flatfishes have the same body structure as other fish. The unique thing about flatfishes is not their body structure, but the fact that they live by lying on their side. So, you can discover the true appearance of a flatfish by standing it upright vertically. When you observe a flatfish by standing it upright, you'll notice that its body structure is almost identical to that of other fish. Here are the dorsal fin. Here are the pectoral fins. Below them are the pelvic fins. And this part is all the anal fin. In fact, the caudal fin used to wave in the same direction as other fish. Wait a minute. In that case, where's the flatfish's anus? The anus of a fish is located in front of the anal fin. So, the flatfish's anus is positioned right here. Here. When they're lying flat, that's the spot where their waist comes out from the side of their body. This fish lives by lying on its side. But here's an interesting thing about flatfishes. Their eyes are concentrated on one side. There are no eyes on the other side. So, on a flatfish's body, the side with eyes is called the ocular side, and the side without eyes is called the blind side. Fascinating, wow. isn't it? But here's an interesting fact. During their larval stage, flatfishes actually have eyes on both sides, just like other fish. They undergo a transformation during their adult development, where one of their eyes migrates upward and over to the other side. During their larval stage, they don't live lying down, but as they transform into adults, their bodies undergo changes to adapt to a bottom-dwelling lifestyle. During this process, their body pigmentation also changes. The ocular side typically displays a darker color, while the blind side tends to be lighter in color. The fact that the ocular side has a dark coloration is a form of camouflage used to deceive predators or prey. Flatfishes are carnivorous, so they keep their eyes exposed while hiding, and when prey approaches, they swiftly move to hunt. So, flatfishes do have quite sharp teeth in their mouths. Flatfishes are remarkable fish, aren't they? Now, let's proceed to dissect a flatfish. First, the gills are covered by a sturdy operculum. So, when we cut open the operculum, inside, we can observe four pairs of gills. Furthermore, the internal organs of a flatfish are primarily located between the anus and the gills. If we start by cutting from the anus side, we can observe how the internal organs are positioned like this. The first prominent organ we can see is the liver. In fish, the liver plays a crucial role in digestion, detoxification, and among other functions. So, most fish indeed have large livers. Furthermore, to examine the digestive tract of a flatfish, cutting away the esophagus section. After removing the liver, what you see clustered here are the digestive organs. If you carefully unfold this, you can see the digestive tract of the flatfish, which extends from the esophagus through the stomach all the way to the anus. The finger-like structures are unique digestive organs of fish called pyloric cecca. They are situated between the stomach and the intestine, assisting in digestion. And the round portion is the spleen of the flatfish, while the slightly greenish one is the gall bladder. When you cut the gall bladder, you can see bile. And the gonads are located next to the anus. These are the testes, indicating that this flatfish is male. However, they lack a swim bladder, which is an organ that provides buoyancy. 
they adapt to a bottom-dwelling lifestyle as adults, which is why their swim bladder regresses. Finally, the heart of the fish is located below to the gills. So, if you carefully cut this part, you can also see the heart of the flatfish. Towards the head, you can also observe the brain and otolith, but the skull is quite hard, making dissection a bit challenging. For those curious about the fish's brain and otolith, I recommend watching a video on anchovy dissection. Flatfish dissection ends here. After preparing the remaining flatfish mussels, we chop them into small pieces and boiled them to perfection. And then we gave it to Sebastian. Again, he don't like it. If you enjoyed watching, please subscribe.